Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the GT Neo 3. I bought this from Giztop. Now, you're probably talking around three to four hundred pounds for this. Has the whopping 150 watt charger and there will be some charging tests conducted at some point. Let's just have a look at this. I have the six gigabyte version. I could or oh, I think they do also do a 12 gigabyte version as well. Okay, so we have a smoky silicon case, SIM tray ejector tool, USB type C cable, and this whopping 150 watt charger. Insane, absolutely insane. Okay, so here she is. This is the white version I bought. They do do a blue version as well. There we go, guys. Look at that. Nice racing stripe. Real me, dare to leap. 50 megapixel main sensor. You can shoot up to 4K as well. We do have a glass back. Sort of a matte finish, just feel nice and grippy. So at the bottom there we have a Type-C connector charging, we have a SIM tray, we have a speaker grill there at the bottom. Slight sort of indentation along the bottom there, not completely flat. On the side we have volume rocker, you can make out them buttons there, there we go. And on the other side we have one power button. Normally sort of used to um, a phone having them all on one side. Uh, at the top microphone and a cutout there for a speaker grill as well, I believe. Yeah, nice. It's a 6.7 inch AMOLED display as well. Let's have a look at that. 6.7 inch AMOLED display, 120 hertz. Um, this is the Pixel 6 Pro, which is slightly bigger in size. This feels nice to hold, there's a nice weight to it. Like I said, this is the Chinese version, so, uh, but this still does come with uh, the Play Store, which is good. So let's have a look at the software. There is a software update available about device from Realme UI 3.0. 256 gigabytes of internal storage. We have eight gigabytes of RAM, and there's the device name there. This is powered by the Dimensity 8100 octa-core CPU on Android. 12. Okay, now obviously the big thing is the charger, which I will test in a moment. We're at 41%, as you see there at the top right hand corner. But I just want to have a quick look at the camera system. It's just a, a quick unboxing. I'll say quick, but I do blab on a little bit to be fair. <laughs> There's a screen protector pre installed on this as well. Play Store, which I will set up at some point. Obviously, this is a Chinese version. So if you do factory reset this, you will lose the Play Store, but there is a way of getting it back on there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, in terms of the software, it doesn't look too Chinesey. It's obviously English language set up, which is good. Let's have a look at the display and brightness. Um, you can have bright HDR mode on there as well. Auto switch for uh, light mode and dark mode. And in terms of refresh rate, it's automatic at the moment. We want it on high, 120 hertz. Increase the screen brightness when playing HDR videos. This will consume more power. Yeah, so nice display on this, guys. AMOLED HDR 10 plus support as well, I believe. Really nice. For the cameras, we have 50 megapixel uh, main sensor. We have an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro. Uh, I know not many people like macro, I think it's a bit pointless to be fair, but look, that's a closer look at the camera housing there, we have the flashlight, so that's good. And in terms of video, 4K 30 and 4K 60, we also have 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second as well. Uh, the selfie camera, 16 megapixel front facing camera, that can shoot up to 1080p 30, let's have a look see what we can do.
over at 1080p 30, or you just get a 1080p and a 720p setting within the camera software. Um, it does make my cheeks look a little bit more red than they actually are. Um, but I'm in front of some artificial lighting at the moment. Uh, quite bright, uh, 6500 Kelvin, I believe it is. Uh, so it's a nice, well lit area, and the quality is looking good. I believe there is um, EIS on there as well. A bit of a shadow here now. Um, yeah, it's looking good. What's the audio sounding like? Let's go into maybe a little less light. Oh, look, it's really making my face red. Hmm. How about that? God. Yeah, a bit need to tone it down in that <laughs> in that respect. But the quality looks good. Good. Okay, so this is 4K 60. I'm in my studio. We've got some nice amount of sort of light in here. Uh, there is stabilization by the looks of it, which is good. It's looking pretty decent, to be fair. Can I go in ultra wide? No, I can't. So I believe 4K 30 will uh, allow ultra wide settings, I, I think. Yeah. It's looking nice. Okay, so we are now in ultra wide, but you can only shoot 1080p 30 in ultra wide. So any of you ultra wide sort of perverts you don't get 4k 30 or 4k 60 unfortunately this is 1080p 30 there is stabilization it does seem quite smooth yeah it's good that that is good ultra wide mm, well yeah good quality very good quality happy with that So I was fairly happy with the camera system on this, the results that I've got today. Uh, yes, it did make my skin tone a little bit more redder. I mean, a mid-range smartphone with a camera system, they do tend to make things look more maybe vibrant and brighten things up a little bit uh, to make them look, you know, that, that bit better. And obviously with the weather now, it's uh, fantastic weather. So pictures with plenty of sunshine and, and light uh, are going to look a lot better than they would do, obviously. In low light conditions the video capabilities are 4k 60 but you can't shoot ultra wide unless you're in 1080p 30 if you like shooting uh, lots of ultra wide and also notice 4k 30 um it looked less stable than shooting in, in 1080p um but i have seen phones with worse stabilization uh 4k 60. just looked a tiny bit wobbly but nothing too bad uh, but I think overall the camera system is um, is good, and especially for the price you're paying uh, for this smartphone as well. It's going to be around three, four hundred pounds. So I want to test the fingerprint sensor. There is in screen. You can just see it up here and there. I'll set that up and let's do my right thumb. Okay. Now in the past with fingerprint sensors, you used to be able to press the power button, unlock immediately like that but you have to wait like maybe a couple of seconds for the fingerprint sensor to come on again there we go like that so unless you're doing that there's no reason why you need to keep unlocking it and locking it that fast anyway but every time i've locked the phone and i've waited for that to appear it's accurate and fairly quick as well more accurate than my pixel 6 pro lately okay Speaker test, firing at the bottom and firing at the top as well. It's actually coming out the front there. And that's full volume. Yeah, there's plenty of volume in those loudspeakers, guys. Uh, top and bottom. Oh, plenty of money. I'll get rid of that. 
There we go. Yeah, that's a nice loudspeaker, nice speaker system, nice dual speaker system as well. Sound quality is pretty decent, so not bad at all. So in a moment, I'm going to plug it in and test uh, the charger. Charging speed, we're at 29% at the moment, so I can plug it in for a few minutes, but there will be a proper full dedicated video from 0 to 100 at some point. I'm just looking at some of the pictures from the lock screen and the display. It looks really nice. 1 billion colours, AMOLED 120Hz. Let's do the charging. Now, if you do buy off the Giztop website, they do send out a, um, an adapter. You'll see I'm in the UK, so that's good. Now let's plug it in. Use the cable provided. I mean, you can tell now compared to previous smartphones I've unboxed in the past, this is a thick cable. I mean, a lot of power running through this cable, so I think, I believe it needs to be thick. Okay, guys, so we are at 29%. I'm going to turn it on in a moment on the watch. Plugged in, I've not turned it on yet. And I'll start the stopwatch, run it for a few minutes and see, see what we get really. So I'm going to go under the here, find the power. And I believe that's charging now. There we go. 29%. So that's a minute. And we're at 37% now. Two minute check. We're at 44%. Wow. Three minute check, 50%. <laughs> okay, five minutes is up and we are at 59%. So we started at 29 and in five minutes it whacked 30% battery on top of there, 30% in five minutes. So yes, I will run this battery down to zero and I will do a proper zero to 100% test uh, on this 150 watt bad boy. But look, if you want a bit of juice in your phone, it's running low, stick it on charge for five minutes and you've got a 30% charge there. It's insane, absolutely insane. So this is my first look at the GT Neo 3 from Realme. Love the design, the racing stripes, nice glass back, beautiful AMOLED display. Yeah, it's looking really nice, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll include links to Giztop if you want to order it from China, entirely up to you, or wait until it's launched globally. Uh, I'm not sure when that will be though, uh, but if you're too eager, then maybe consider buying it from Giztop or any other sort of Chinese website you can get it from. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.